Okay, so this is a presentation on four ways to increase your email effectiveness. I like throwing a little tagline there. It's not 1999 anymore. Let me introduce myself. I'm Jared Kimball with Spamspurt.com. Um, currently, I'm going to break this into a four-part series so the video isn't too long and you don't get bored, but hopefully you have some really good content here and you'll get some good ideas to help increase your email effectiveness. So to start out with, we're going to start on subject lines. Um, subject lines are <clears throat> probably the shortest thing you write with the greatest impact. They uh, have a lot of effect, they have a lot of power, they have a lot of meaning, and you've got to get people to read your subject lines and open your email so they can see the message and click a link. Very important. So I'm going to talk about some subject line strategies that right now I don't think anybody else out there is sharing or showing or talking about. So I figured I'd throw these out there and see what see what we get. So uh, I kind of say wash and repeat, but actually, rule number one: stand out. People take this stuff way too serious. First thing is, don't be like everyone else. If everyone else is going one way, don't go the same way as them. Go a different way. Go the opposite way. Think outside the box. You know. Um, Get, get some, some things in there that, that will reach your target market that nobody else is doing. Do something that's different. You know, talk to them. There are people on the other end, and you have to connect with them. So you know, try, to, try, to, try to stand out, and I have some ideas to help, help make your messages stand out, specifically your subject lines on this part. Um, I have some examples. One website, swell.com, uh, has actually quite a few of these, and other, other websites I've pulled these from, and other email service providers. And, and a list that I'm subscribed to, um, some good ones, you know. That's the good shirt. I mean, come on. That's definitely going to trigger your interest, isn't it? Um, they are a clothing company, and they s typically sell um, sh surfer clothes and, you know, uh, gear and stuff like that. Uh, another one they had was Schwing. I mean, that's perfect. It makes you think of Wayne's World. It, it pr brings in the generational uh, market that they're trying to reach to. Um, and, and really, you know, has effect and makes you go, that's pretty funny. Um, ever seen a Made in Ant Antarctica shirt? Hopefully not. Um, it's a good question. You know, if you notice that they open the subject line with a question. Um, you've been served. Uh, that's that's uh, pretty good because that could be taken different ways. You know, it could be uh, golf. It could be service, restaurant. It could just be plain fun. You know, kind of like uh, people egg each other on in sports and in games and stuff like that. Uh, confirm. Crazy marketing tales here. Double opt-in. I mean, right there, that is exactly what you need to do. Confirm with crazy marketing tales here. It's a double opt-in. There's no wishy-washy, no, like, play on words like that. It's direct message. That's exactly what the subject line is going to be. Another good one is shh. That's that's definitely unique. It makes makes you stand out. Uh, another good one I thought was good for you. Uh, these are all a mix of different marketers out there that are using stuff, but hopefully these are some ideas that will help you get kind of uh, get your thing your mind going. Um, say what you mean to say, but in a fun way. Know your audience. You've got to know your subscribers. You've got to know the people you're talking to, and if you don't then you're really going to be hurting yourself, no one else but yourself, and you're going to be hurting them, the few people that are subscribed to your list. Um, you can write, uh, this, this point right here, you can write with emotional phrases like, buy now, sale ends today, but are you causing the person to feel an emotion? Even though you write, buy now, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, sale ends today, are you really causing the person to go, oh my gosh, I've got to buy now. The sale's going to end today. Is that really the, the emotion that they're going to feel when they read that message? Nine times out of ten, I'll say that the emotion they're going to feel is going to be like, spam, this is junk, trash, delete, skip, unsubscribe. Those are all thoughts that are going to go through their head when they read a subject line like that. So you've got to, you've got to portray emotion and you have to spark emotion, not say it. Emotion is felt, it's not read. It's felt from the reader, the person who's reading the subject line. So that's one of the things I want you to get out of today as well, is just understand that 
Just because you write an emotional statement doesn't mean the person on the other end is going to feel the emotional statement. You have to get them to feel the emotions that are behind that statement. So one of the things I recommend is stop the exclamation mark stuff. There are so many companies, so many companies, that write exclamation marks all over the place. They're getting really overused, really overused. Um, you know, just try and tone it down. Nothing wrong with using exclamation marks, but don't overdo them. Not everything is that, you know, important. <laughs> so you just gotta, just kind of like, just kind of move off of the, the exclamation marks. But in lieu of that, there are other things that you can use that people aren't even aware of, um, or people forget. You know, there's a lot of cool things out there that people just don't realize. Um, getting into the nitty and gritty and stuff, you know. Add some good stuff, you know, emoticons. Nobody out there, as far as I know, is really using these. It's the universal online language for fun stuff, you know. What would you think if somebody sent you an email and it had a smiley face in the subject line, you know, uh, or a sad face, or, you know, a kissy face, or, you know, eyebrow raised, or cool shades, or something like that, you know. It would definitely make you smile if you're the reader who's receiving this email, wouldn't it? I mean, I would think it would. It's, it's a pretty good idea, and I haven't seen really any other marketers out there use it. Um, you know, there's also other symbols on the keyboard that people forget to use. You know, there's parentheses, plus signs, equal signs, quotes, the tildes. You can make little heart symbols, uh, you know, ellipses, the dot, 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 uh, parentheses, brackets. Oh, there's all kinds of keyboard symbols out there that nobody else is using to write subject lines to help make your message kind of stand out in the viewer's eyes when they're scrolling through their 50 emails for that day or within that hour. You know, you want to stand out. There's a lot of competition in the inbox, and your subject line has got to stand out. Um, you know, so here, ways to get these characters, uh, you have to be kind of careful with um, how the characters are portrayed through the Internet and through the connections like that. Sometimes if you put in a... a an apostrophe, for example, or a quotation mark, even though it looks fine on your server, on your computer screen, whenever you send the actual email and, and the quotation mark goes through the different email servers out there, it can change it. And it can also it can come out with garbly gook. You know, and you don't want that. You want it to be the actual quotation mark or whatever symbol you're trying to portray. So one of the things you can use, which I'm going to mention here as well, is using the ASCII um, key f uh, key resources or the HTML entity for that symbol. And I'll give you some resources of that for that as well. Um, uh, it'll take some testing and some tweaking depending on which email service provider you're using, but uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste the HTML code in your email. And just as I throw it in there, a little warning, don't overdo it. Um, try to you know, try to try to have fun with it. Try to try to um, put them in there, but don't put tons and tons of smiley faces. Don't put tons and tons of you know hearts or kissy faces. You know that gets really annoying to people. Okay, you got you do it for fun. You make people smile, and then you move on. Get to the message. Get to the point. You know, people are in a hurry. They're they're in a rush. They want to move. They want to go. And email is there for them to read, digest, and partake in whatever it is you're sharing, whatever information you're giving, or um, whatever product you're selling. Um, as, as far as this goes, uh, I'm Jared Kimball again with SpamSpurt.com. It's a short video. This is part one out of four parts as far as email marketing. Uh, I, I ask that uh, you go ahead and follow, follow me on, on Twitter. Uh, you can find me at Jared Kimball. It's also on my website, SpamSpurt.com, which will be down below as well. Um, and I uh, look forward to chatting with you. Uh, go ahead and download my ebook. I wrote an ebook on 21 days to create a more effective email list. Enjoy. It's been great talking to you, sharing with you. I got more things to come. If you thought that these are really good resources as far as just for subject lines, there's some other good stuff coming. So stay tuned. Subscribe to my feed. Get on my, e uh, my newsletter list. And uh, there's some good stuff coming. All right. Talk to you later.